Hey guys, I thought I'd just give you a quick review of the LED floodlights. Uh, the Pixel floodlights, which you can purchase from the Array Awu AliExpress website. Uh, these are the addressable red, blue, and green floodlights. I'll purchase some of these to use in my Christmas display this year. I uh, just received the day, so I thought, oh well, I'll hook them up. Quick test, and while I was doing, I thought, oh well, I'll hook the multimeter up to the power supplies and see what sort of current draw they're doing. Uh, I'm not going to go over technical with it. I'm not going to go in and have hook them up or anything like that. It's just in case you're looking at purchasing, you might find it interesting. But hey, all right, um, we got one out of the box a little bit earlier. They're pretty basic. Um, they're listed as a 10 watt um, IP66, which is something to do with the waterproof rating. Um, the good thing about them, they come with the pigtails already terminated, uh, the Ray Wu connected ones, um, some nice, apparently watertight glands, um, little LEDs in there, uh, just to give you a comparison, they're a little bit smaller than what I would have thought, I didn't actually look at the specs too closely on the uh, Ray Wu's AliExpress website, but just to give you an idea, they are about 120 mil or just over four and a half inches across and 125 mil with that five inches uh, down uh, the width of them uh, what's that about 40 mil so about an uh, inch and just over an inch and a half uh, they've got a nice heat sink on the back of them I do notice so I suppose if these are listed and they do do 10 watts there's a bit of heat to be generated um, Overall, they look pretty good. I think they're about fifteen dollars US. Um, said they come terminated with the pigtails. One thing I did notice, though, they don't come with a little waterproof O-ring. That's all right. Most people are playing around with these pixel lights. Um, generally, have these ends, and you need a controller on that, so you probably got a spare one. But I just did notice it doesn't come with one of the little O-rings. Okay, what we might do is we'll just quickly hook him up. But I've got a pretty basic test rig up here. Just a, a spare Pixlite 16 controller. I'm just on the port uh, 16. Uh, a couple of power supplies. Uh, first power supply system to the first put outputs 1 to 8. So uh, 9 to 16 should be showing up on my multimeter, which is just uh, in amps. Give you an idea of what the current drawer is. I was just sort of curious myself what they'd do. Uh, for my wiring setup, etc. That was half the reason I thought, oh well, I'll pull the camera out and film it for you guys. Hopefully, you can see what's going on there. So, what we're going to do is we've got no output there. We will we we'll, uh, hook him up. Now, a little connector to get the right way around. Might be a good start. Sorry for the noisy power supplies, by the way. It's just my spare when I grabbed my little basic test rig there. So I've got a real basic test pattern I'm just going to run. It's just the, the blues, the reds, the greens. Each one of them just fades out. Um, and then it does go through each one. Perfect. And then we're going to go for the really interesting one that everyone probably wants to know about. It goes to full white, 100% brightness. And we'll see what sort of current draw these little 10 watt LED floodlights do. So it's stationary in there. It's showing, hopefully you can see. I'm just going to move this a bit. That doesn't flood you. Uh, negligible 0 0.007 uh, amps. So hopefully we can select output uh, and we will get a real basic test pattern. So we've got our blues. What have we got there? This is all at 100%. The reds 0.25 an amp. Come into a green 0.3 of an amp. Uh, this is Gasserish runs with lots of highs here for 0.3. Then we're going to come into a white 100%. 0 0.89, so 0.9 of an amp. That's not a real lot, really. We'll notice, we'll say that the white isn't overly white, it's more of a pinkish white. Um, if you said that, you think, oh, you know, it's got power supply issues, but it's only pulling 0.9 of an amp, so it should be at least still at 12 volts. It's only one thing hooked into it. I think it's just the way the lights are. What we might do, just for curiosity's sake, we might hook another one in, just daisy chain them in, just to see what we can get for two. 
So I'm planning to run four or six or eight of these. Depends on what sort of effect we get. Try and use them a bit of a, a wall washer for the display this year. And then I suppose say display, it'll be my first display. Uh, we'll hook a second one up. Not such. It's just daisy chain in them in series. There's no outputs through our X lights, turn the lights off just to make sure. Hooking up. Again, this one was straight out of the box. So hopefully it'll work. Should do. Uh, we will turn our lights on through our X lights program. Press play, and we should get. Yeah, they're both good. So both of them through the white 1.8 1.85 amps. We might just reduce that amperage down to 75 percent just for argument's sake. I don't think it's going to make much difference to the overall brightness. But we'll see how we go. Yeah, 1.3 1.35 amps. Right, what we might do is it's about 9 or 8.55 p.m. It'll take me a good 20 minutes to drag some extension cords on the outside. And we might move this whole test rig outside and hook possibly four of them up against the wall and um, see what sort of effect. See if they actually give a nice flood light. So I've set two of them up side by side, just to place that little plant there, and we'll um, run them through the same sequence and see what they look like. It's probably a bit hard to see on the video, but they do look obviously closer to it, just side by side, and that's probably how I would run them. Um, it's doing a pretty good job. I was probably going to run two on that little wall. We run four now. Twice of them, can't really go wrong. Again, on that full white, I think it's going to ramp up to it. Um, it does go a little bit pinkish, we'll just run them through again for you. Um, and see what you're around. As I said, they're slight side by side. I might um, just space them a couple of inches for the part next test and um, see what they look like. Would I buy them? Oh, I reckon. Well, I have. Uh, would I recommend them? I think so. Bang for your buck. I think you're alright. I'm just going to space them apart. And like, like I said, I'll space them probably 50 centimetres, half a metre. Half, half a metre apart and we'll run them through in the same sequence and a bit of a comparison. Um, okay. Okay, that was my quick review of the floodlights, not the LED ones. Uh, would I buy them? I didn't expect that much from them. Um, I think they're going to be okay in my display. Uh, I just have to be mindful where you position them. I think they're not going to give a massive amount of flood. They're only a 10 watt. Hey and hey, they're cheapest chips. So I'll probably um, hand, them, hand them up two by twos and so you know, go. What I did actually had a bit more at the front of my house. I had some lower bushes. I wish I would have filmed it actually. Uh, they're a small bush with a nice topiary shape, and I had just one of them underneath, and I got a really cool effect, especially when I got the transition from the green into the blue. Um, so I reckon I might try and incorporate that into uh, my sequencing this year. And um, all right, thanks for watching. 
Um, hey, if you thought it was interesting, somebody reviewing a Chinese made product bought off the internet, leave a comment, you know the deal. Um, I might, if I get a couple of responses from this video, I might do a couple more reviews on stuff I'm purchasing uh, for my Christmas display this year. Okay, see you.